This is it. This is the big one. This is the day that we play Badlands. What is my personal favorite map in the game. And I think flat out one of the best FPS like team maps ever created. Like this is damn near perfection in terms of just map flow, utility of the classes, even the look. Um, everything just comes together and it just slaps you right in the titties. Like this map is just... Like, you know, one of those maps where, you know, like, you know, like, people do 24-7, like, two fort, like, you know, servers? If you gave me a 24-7 Badlands server, I would probably not play on it all the time because I have other things to do. But, damn, I would be visiting that server a whole hell of a lot because I love this map so much. Let's just go right into it. So, the thing about this map is that it's big, but it's not overly so. And it's not... Actually, to be fair, in some ways, I actually think it's a little bit smaller than it might first appear. But we'll get into that. So yeah, obviously you got the bridge. This is supposed to be the main way to the bases, right? And you got some nice, I think it's either grenades or just ammo. I can't quite remember at the moment because you're usually never going to be actually trying to get up on this bridge. Let's be completely honest. It's like with 2-4. This is just here to be busy work to prevent people from just waltzing into your base. You're not ever actually going to expect anyone to come this way. But so yeah, let's break it down from here. So you can see this map's got a little bit of a layer going on. And here's the bottom. This connects both bases. It's a little, like, valley. And any of the classes that, like, you know... Like, you know, can walk this way. Um, it's especially good for the spies. And, like, even just any, like, slower class that doesn't have any ability to really jump around. You can take this way. But do expect people to be, like, you know, obviously watching. So you gotta be careful. Um, if you go from there, you have another option of taking the, these ropes here. On either side, and they'll lead you to the higher layer to the other base and this is a if you're defending take the rope up and you can actually build like teleporters or like sentries here to try to defend your base or obviously if you're attacking you can conk jump from here if you know what you're doing really well um and the, it goes the other way too if you climb up and want to try to get to the other base you got to take this narrow ledge which isn't i don't personally recommend too much because of the obvious fact that you know you're going to be sniped at because there's sniper bases here but it's there! And, you know, obviously, if you're a good at sniper, you know, you can get, like, you could be the sniping here, preventing the, like, the team, the defending team from even getting their snipers out here at all. It's great. So let's keep going this way real quick. I'm gonna go down here first. Uh, you got the, in this valley, you got this little tunnel, which leads into, like, the home area, the outside home area of the base, which also has a little valley. Um... Not too much going on here, although, don't discount this bridge here, if you're a spy, because you could totally go around, and if you know how to disguise really well, this is a good way to get behind people. Just expect someone to be watching, though, but, you know, that's probably the best way to get up here if you're a spy. If you're just trying to get up at all, whether it be attacking or you're just really, really brave, you can take the ladder here, or, if you're trying to get into the base to get the flag, take this little tunnel here, which will show off later. Going back out again, um, here's the rest of the main area. And obviously, if you're paying attention, this leads into the bridge area here. Like I said, don't ever expect to actually get it. If you're the attacker, don't ever expect to actually break through here. Because, you know, there's just going to be so much, like, you know, resistance. Um, this might look really steep, but you can actually walk up this. And it makes a great place for a sentry. You also got this area, too, which is, again, great for sentries and good for just building teleporters to like you know stuff like that and it wraps around here so also if you're trying to attack this is an alternate way to go if you find yourself here or if you're a spy again this is another way to go back around as a spy get over and if you want to back some, stab some people you can absolutely do that now here's the base itself but we're going to talk about the base after because I want to talk about that sniper area first because there's a lot to break down here so as you can see this is like little sniper tower is pretty much more or less connected straight to that little like narrow bridge I brought up earlier. So that means that you, you as the enemy player, the attacker, could get right into the base from here. Though obviously, this one's better defended. Um, it can't see as far over here. It can see here really well as you can see, but I feel you gotta pick your poison. And obviously, if someone, if an enemy sniper is controlling this side, you, you know, you want to, you don't want to make sure that another one doesn't come or like so they don't start building the teleporters. Because you can build a teleporter here. It's not going to last long. But you know, if you're doing really, like your team is doing really bad. 
And like, you, the other team has this bridge held. They're gonna build a teleporter here and you're basically fucked. And you don't want that. So you wanna make sure that if you are here, you also watch and chuck down some grenades. I've had a lot of fun being a sniper. A terrible one at that, but a lot of fun being a sniper and throwing and grenades down here. Because the enemy team will build teleporters there. I've seen it happen countless times. So let's go into the main base now. Obviously the flag's over here. You got this little no axis, which is a little respawn thing. Um, it here leads into the um, main area sniper. Again, you want some snipers down there. That goes without saying. You also got this little area here, which don't forget about because this can help you if, like, the, the enemy's at your front door. This can help you, like, you know, find another way around to try to break through. And obviously that leads back into the, like, kind of deeper area here. Which we'll get to in a second, because I want to break down that li uh, little area a little bit different. We're going to go back down to the tunnels now. So yeah, back to our scheduled programming. If you go through this tunnel here, uh, you're going to first get into this area. Which, you're going to see that's the flag, obviously. You can't grab it from here, because that would make things too easy. But if you're feeling brave, you can build a teleporter here, I think. I could be wrong, but you can actually build a teleporter... Though that's probably not going to go too well because the explosions will still hit you, I believe, from here. But again, if the enemy team's not paying attention, um, you go right ahead and do that. But if you do come this way, you come to this little tall area here. Which, you know, you can actually get up to here. And this is a great place for, like, you know, heavy weapons guys or demo man that are playing defensive. To, like, you know, watch and make sure people aren't coming this way. And if you do uh, come out this way, you have a few ways to go. Uh, obviously, if you go, to, you don't want to go down this way if you're the attacker because this just leads into the spawn point, which has the capture point in it too, as you can see. Um, so that's where you had to bring the flag, which is a little bit weird, but you know I'm not going to question it too much. And obviously, if you exit out the top way, and so you get back to that one little sniper area here. But if you go back this way, that's how you had to. If you're trying to attack, you or you have to go up this way, which can be really risky if you do come this way because. There's this infamous middle spot where, like, you know, the engineers are going to build sentries here and here. Uh, obviously, you're going to see this one first, but this one's here, too, if you're coming that way. You can also get back to the other bat the battlements, too, if that's what you're, you're, like, this is your home base. We'll get to the flag, too. You can also, like I said, have come this way from the sniper tower, remember. You know, that's always a good option. Now, here's the flag area. It's much like that other little, like, you know, like, tower here. Um, I've seen demo man come up this way and just hang out like you know kind of on this ridge here You have to jump up there or hell even a soldier now see the thing is the flags here of course, right? Well literally now and the thing is they're expecting you the only way out basically is grab the flag and you go into this little lower area here, which is one way unless you and This is something I have done before you comp jump or like rocket jump here You can actually get here instead so if you're the defender, make sure you're building shit here. Because otherwise, if someone gets to the front door, or hell, just find any way, like, you know, find somehow can get through to this side here. They can just go right up here, waltz, grab the flag, and get back out. And yeah, that's the map. I kind of, like, really didn't focus too much on the strategy. I wanted to focus on the general layout. Mostly because it's so freeform and fluid that, you know, I, I don't think I've even yet to this day, having played this map several times in my life, have seen all possible, like, you know, permutations of strategies and, like, different ways the classes can interact. It, it's just every single class, even the pyro, in my opinion, has something to bring to the table here. And it's just fucking incredible. I don't know what it is, too, and I brought up the, like, really liking how it looks, too. Just, I feel like the rock texture here is strangely appealing for how old it is. Like, at a faraway distance on a 4K monitor, it's rather sharp looking. And really, I just like the lighting. How many, like, you know, it's, a, it's like a sunny day. And, but it's like it's still got like some like mood to it because of like the shadowing from like the tunnels and stuff like that It feels like you're fighting out in the middle of the desert go figure or the Badlands. That's what I should be thinking of All right better put my comp jumping skills to the test and like make an ass of myself. We're going scout All right I don't quite know what the ultimate optimal way to as a scout though would be like like to get into the fort and stuff like that or like you know oh yeah and I always forget that literally every time you had to crouch into here you can't just walk or like jump into you got to crouch jump keep that in mind especially in the heat of the moment you know you might make it you might end up making a, a buffoon of yourself if you're not careful 
One of the scariest things imaginable, man. Heavy weapons guy just walking down that corridor. Undeni- undescribable sense of fear. Die, you son of a bitch! Well, at least he- Oh, I guess he took my words literally. Okay. Better make sure that there's no teleporter in here. Alright. Alright, so, so far the snipers have been a little bit subdued so far, so that's good. Yeah, right over! Oh, I love doing that. It's so good. I'm gonna do it again. Yeah, oh, fuck off. I didn't make it high enough. Don't mind me, spy. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. I mean, if no one's watching, like, uh, like you know, on the enemy team, you could just hang out here. Obviously, a smart professional player is gonna check occasionally. But yeah, I don't see why you can't hang out here if no one's gonna stop you. I mean, eventually, yeah. Heavy weapons guy here figured it out, but you know, or I, I think he did. Uh, there we go. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, Martin, you had to ruin it. Okay, good. We got a teleporter going. Excellent. And yeah, I fucked that up. I mean, I don't know how long it's going to last. I mean, that's not a really good spot for a teleporter exit because people are going to see it. Even the bots will figure it out, but oh well. I'll take advantage of it while I can. Save me the conch jumping. Hey, buddy. Okay, we'll just not comment on that at all. What? Okay, can I redeem myself? Nope, not at all. Why would I ever expect that? I am beyond saving! This sniper, man. Uh, I better, better, I'm gonna try to be a spy, because no one else... We got another scout on the team now, so I figured I could switch it up a little bit. Now you fucking don't know shit! I have fooled you! <laughs> Fine, I'll just go the other way. I'm, I give up on trying to take that bridge there, because that fucking... I'm the pro oh, god! Why? Excuse me. I'm in need of Do we have no medics on the team? What the fuck? Well, back to Kong jumping for me and failing epically. I feel my chances are a little bit better with the, um... Medic here, though. Okay, is that the same... I want to take advantage of that. Where does that lead us? Yeah... That's not helpful, but okay. Yes! Oh, that was so close to being flawlessly executed. Did you see that? Eat my grenade, asshole. You want seconds? Sure. It's not working! It's not working! It's not working! Okay, you just kill yourself. I don't know. Oh. No! I have no idea what the grenade was supposed to be. I don't think so! Oh god, he's got a grenade! Well, there goes that teleporter. Yeah, sure. I, I, I don't blame you for needing a medic after just eating. Like, he sat there looking at the grenade and he's like, yeah, I can take this. You can see it in his face. He doesn't care. How about you? Oh! Oh fuck yes! 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 Oh, I blew it! I blew it! I mean, yes! No, it's yes! It's just full of yes! I'm still blowing it! I'm still blowing it! I'm gonna blow it! But I don't think so, but maybe! This is- Go, you f Oh, shit! I gotta go up the stairs! Yes! Oh, are you trying to steal my thunder by taking the flag at the same time? No fucking- They're doing what I described earlier, see? If no one's stopping you, like, no one's looking down there, that's what happens! No, I got you, buddy! I got you! You're gonna outlast! You're gonna survive! You're a survivor with the eye of the tiger! Wrong way! Wrong way! Wrong way! Where? Yeah, that's what I thought, bitch. So you just circle around and ring around the rosy pocket full of posy. Ashes, ashes, they all fall down! Well, if you would fucking stop moving, asshole! Jesus. Oh, god damn it! I always like the lighting here. I forgot to bring that up, too. Absolute... Perfection.